Hi Aquarius, welcome to my page. I'm Tina and today we're going to be doing your August weekly tarot for the upcoming week of August 9th to the 15th. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'll lay your cards out. I will put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull. And then I do pull two layers. We're going to pull the first layer now. I will pull a second layer. Of course, I'll update that photo as well. All right, Aquarius, because these are intuitive tarot readings, I do like to shuffle here on camera with you. This way I can tune into your energy. So let's see what's happening for you this second week of August. The 9th to the 15th for you, Aquarius, for you. Let us see. Two more shuffles and we'll get right into it. All right, one more. Let's see. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. So interesting Aquarius this week. What is going on? All right. At the very center here, we got the five of cups. So there is some kind of sense of loss, of regret, something just definitely not turning out the way you wanted. Definitely not turning out the way you wanted. There is like, you're wanting to follow your heart about something for sure. And part of you, I feel like makes, something's missing for you guys. There is something missing. There's a loss and in addition to there having been an actual loss, there is also just a sense of something is missing for you guys, of needing something more, of going after like deeper fulfillment, absolutely. Now you're challenged here by the devil. For some of you it could be a Capricorn, but for me with the devil, of course it's shadow side, right? Um, there's so many levels to it, whatever, but it's self-inflicted. It's things that we're doing to ourselves. We all have it, all of us. Um, it's just each of our shadows is a little different from the others, right? But all of us have our shadow side. But you're challenged by seeing something within yourself, something self-inflicted. The light is there for you to see it. You just have to become more aware and open to it because once you shed the light on this, you'll be able to really start navigating that shadow energy so that you can hopefully work on it and remove it and not allow it to stop you from progressing in the future, right? But on your mind, we got the lovers here. Some of you could absolutely be a partner, could absolutely be um, your romantic partner, without a doubt with the lovers here, please. Could also be a Gemini, we have to say that for some of you, but it's fundamentally, it's a choice here. And it's a choice about following your heart because there's something missing here. There's some disappointment here, guys. We're gonna go a layer deeper, but your approach here is also, um, sorry, I dropped at the Eight of Cups. It's like, it's like the card wants to move, right, so much. That card wants to move. You want to move. There's an eight of cups here. And so that's something missing, right? Like you see how these cups are lined up and there's an obvious gap here. There's an obvious hole and it hurts. It hurts to walk away because these are really good cups. It's just, you need more now. You need more. You want to follow your heart. There's a decision here about following your heart. Um, there is a decision here about following your heart. All right, you know what? Let's go a layer deeper here and see what the tarot has to say. Because, you know, one more card really can up this. And I'm using a different deck this way if the same card wants to come out. I know it's a more dominant energy this week. So let's see. A few more shuffles, Aquarius, and we'll get right into it. Two more shuffles. One more. One more for real. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Double energy here with the two of wands. Personal power. And I'll tell you what I mean. Okay. So, as the situation, we had that Five of Cups. And clarifying that now is the Two of Wands. So you've been disappointed. There's been a letdown, absolutely. And you've been thinking and planning already about going in a new direction. There's a new direction here. There's a choice for you guys, Aquarius. Um, but you're still in that, you're still in this energy though. And if you're still in this energy, I feel like it's still a focus on what was lost versus the potential and opportunities that you still have that are really good standing right next to you. And you're planning, you're thinking about it for sure. You haven't left your comfort zone just yet, no, but you're in that personal power. And the reason I say personal power is because this guy has the world and you have this card twice. So it's like personal power doubled, squared. Um, but you have it here 
and you have it here as well. And when I say personal powers, because he literally has the world in his hand, right? He knows that he can choose any direction. And that's where your personal power comes in. It's that co-creator type of energy of like, you know what? I don't need to stay here. I can see a different path for myself that excites me. That's a lot better. And I can go in that direction. You're just challenged because you're still kind of feeling that loss. It's still holding you back, basically. Um, and then that being said, with the devil here, we got that nine of swords. So something's causing you sleepless nights and I feel like it's your thought patterns for some reason I feel like that shadow work and that shadow energy is connected to mental patterns because we have that nine of swords here it speaks of fears of anxieties coming up of insecurities coming up regrets coming up grief anything like that but it's not a healthy way to deal with things like I know that we have to go through that absolutely you just don't want to stay there and anytime this energy does come up I'm always like if any of you have somebody that you can talk to call them talk to them. It helps. It absolutely helps. It's just slowing you down. These fears, these anxieties, these ins your mental thoughts that are keeping you up at night. And it can even just be on your mind all day as well. It's not helping the situation. In fact, it's challenging the progress. It's, fa it's challenging that two of wands. And yeah, you got to go through it. Just don't stay there. That's all I'll say. Just don't stay there. Now, on your mind, it's so interesting because, again, we've got a lot of choice. We've got a lot of direction change. We also have the chariot here, guys, but the lovers is about following your heart. Um, we got Sag here. We got Gemini here. There's so much duality in both of these cards, but I feel like because you're walking away as well, and temperance is really a card about alchemy, right? It's about blending opposites to make a brand new third, that it doesn't have to be light or dark this or that it can be a blending of the two in the right amounts and i feel like you're trying to make something work you're trying to blend it you want it to be a little bit different and you're just trying to figure out the right amounts of everything so you can create something new from what was you want to blend some different elements together and it's on your mind it's on your mind guys and you want to change directions and follow your heart. You were on a path, but now you're on a whole other path, it feels like. It's definitely on your mind. And now your action and the approach you're taking, you're walking away. You're making that decision to walk away. It's a little sad for sure. I feel it. Um, and I know it. It's a sad energy. But you are walking away. You're going for that real fulfillment. And attached to it is the Six of Wands. It's a claim. It's recognition for it, right? It's ready to be successful you want to be successful ultimately and that's what you're aiming after you want to feel proud of yourself you want to feel proud of your achievements and i feel like that's a little bit of that missing cup here for you guys but you're going after it aquarius you're definitely going after it your environment i feel like is looking pretty good this week we got the chariot here and a three of wands progress expansion unstoppable victory and we have two success cards here with the Six of Wands and the Chariot. So there's something in your environment that you're really like the people, there's something about like expanding it, growing from it, charging and moving. You're, a lot of movement, a lot of action here, but it's really positive. It's really setting plans into motion, um, but it's positive energy in your environment. I feel like this week it's more so in your head and in your heart that's a little bit difficult, but your environment's looking really positive. Now, let's talk about what's coming towards you, the end of week, oncoming type of energy. We have the Two of Wands again, so I just feel, again, personal power. You're feeling personally responsible and accountable for your life and being like, you know what, if I don't like the way it is, I can change direction, I can do this, I can do that, and that's where I'm saying that personal power. It came through twice, it fell twice down on your spread, so it's a really dominant energy this week, is of you with the world in your hands, Aquarius. You're having a little anxiety, but that world is in your hands and you're fully aware of it. So I'm, and what you're doing now, you're getting some information. You're in discovery mode for this new path. You're just trying to figure out how and what you're getting. You're gathering your information so you can start making plans and setting them into motion this week is definitely the message that's coming through. But you know what? I did this for you, I feel like, in one of your other readings, but I kind of want to do it for this reading as well, especially when I see like the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. I want to get a protection message for you guys. So bear with me again. Um, let me just get my other deck. We have the Wisdom of the Oracle here. I don't promote anything. I don't do personal readings. It's just because I love these cards and I love their messages. So let me just give these a little bit of a shuffle, and I want to kind of just 
do a protection message for you guys for this week because I know it's hard. I know it's hard when the Eight of Cups comes up. I know it's a difficult decision to walk away because the cups are good. They're really good cups. So it's not easy, but you can't ignore that missing feeling, right? Can't ignore the beating of your own heart, man. You just can't. All right, Aquarius, let me do two more and let's see what's happening. Protection message for you. Personal power week, man. I feel it. Good for you. All right, one more time. And let's see. There we go. Serendipity. Serendipity. All right, number 18. Let's see. There we go. Right to it. <laughs> Just like serendipity. All right. All right, the protection message. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, yet it all fell apart. Consider this, sometimes synchronicity, synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. So interesting. And then lessons learned, right, with the devil and pain. It always, like, comes together. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there for you. Um, it was a really good reading. If anything resonates, please like and subscribe. And thank you guys for letting me tune into your energy this week. And I'll see you for next week's reading.